Gemma entered a haunted house to take pictures. But suddenly, someone closed the door and locked her inside. She spent the whole day in total darkness. Then, the lights turned on, and a creepy clown appeared in front of her. There's a game I want to play with you, he said. The clown offered Gemma three bowls of soup. Two of them are poisoned, and one is safe. If she chooses the safe one, the clown will set her free. Can you help Gemma to make a wise choice? Ingredients in the first soup look like pills. The second soup contains suspicious blue carrots. Probably these are not safe. Therefore, the green one is safe. Can you find a hidden number in this picture? That's right, it's 9175. Can you find a hidden number in this picture? That's right, it's 341. But I'm sure you'll manage to spot a hidden number in this picture. Well done, it's 900. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot the owner of this dog? The red-haired lady is the owner of the dog. Take a look at the dog's collar. It has a picture of the owner. Paul worked in a large company. He left the office to have lunch one day, but he didn't find his car in the parking lot. He immediately called the police. The police soon found the car and started to chase the criminal. But the criminal left the car and ran to the park. The police caught three suspects. Jill said she was jogging in the park. Peter was waiting for his girlfriend, and Amy was walking and enjoying nature. Who stole the car? Amy, although she was enjoying nature, she had the same key that had gone missing. Can you find a hidden dice among all these pieces of cheese? It's over here. Although it looks like cheese, you better watch your teeth. Take a look at this pattern. Can you spot an odd detail? This bunch has more grapes than the others. Let's dive into the water for a while. The bottom of the ocean is full of life, but can you see any fish? It's hiding over here. Here's an eye challenge to read a blurred quote. Can you see this phrase? It says, well done is better than well said. Can you spot a panda and a soccer ball among all these snowmen? The ball is over here, and the panda is hiding in the right corner. Look at this picture very attentively. Can you see anything dangerous in this picture? A snake is hiding in the bushes. One morning, Dan went to work as usual. He was a professional athlete and had a lot of awards. When he got back home, he found out that his most valuable trophy was gone. His gold medal was stolen. He called the police to report the missing medal. The detective interrogated Bob's neighbor and found four suspects, Rick, Tom, Sarah, and Molly. Each neighbor was carrying a house plan. Who robbed Dan? It was Sarah. 
Look, the house plan matches his house perfectly. Josh ordered some delicious sushi for a picnic outdoors. Look at the picture carefully. Can you spot any odd components in this meal? There's a green caterpillar in here. See? It probably fell from a tree. I wouldn't recommend eating that anyway. Someone painted the entire playground in the park with graffiti. The police questioned three suspects. The detective didn't tell them what he had suspected them of. He asked one simple question. What are you doing in this park? Robert said he was going to the birthday of his friend who lives near the park. Rick was looking for his missing dog who had run away this morning. And Derek was just having lunch in the park. He didn't see any graffiti artists. Who is suspicious? Derek. The detective didn't say anything about the graffiti. But Derek already started defending himself. Can you find the hidden gold coin? It's over here in the left corner. Look at this pattern very attentively. Can you spot anything odd? Someone has bitten this banana. Can you find the right shadow? The correct answer is D. Can you see any numbers on this picture? The correct answer is 1479. Look at these ladies. They all look nice, but the one you choose will tell you something about your personality. If you choose the first lady, you're very friendly and easygoing. Some people may think you're too naive, but you're just a very sensitive and curious person who sees life as an adventure. If you chose the second lady, you're a very loyal and passionate person. When you're in love, you become invincible. If you chose the third lady, it means you love to have fun and nothing can confuse you or make you feel down. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot a person who's in the safest position? The guy in the car is the safest. What number do you see in this picture puzzle? Number 517. Ryan wants to get a job at the museum. He successfully passed the interview, but his employer gave him a final test. Help Ryan determine which portrait is antique. This guy is wearing a fitness tracker, so he's probably not from the Middle Ages. The lady looks very authentic, but take a look at this lamp. Therefore, the portrait of this mysterious old man is original. Good job, Ryan. You're hired. Can you spot a penguin among the toucans? This guy over here. Jack and Jill just moved into a new house. While they were unpacking their boxes, the doorbell rang. They opened the door and saw three neighbors standing on the porch. Kitty brought cupcakes, Mrs. Green brought soup, and Amber brought an apple pie. Help Jill and Jack identify the safe neighbor. Kitty's cupcakes contain cockroaches. Amber's cake seems to have some pills hidden in the apples. Therefore, Mrs. Green with her strange soup is the most harmless neighbor. Can you find...
Time is up. It's over here. Tino was preparing a birthday dinner in the kitchen. An hour later, her friend found her unconscious on the floor. She called the ambulance and the police arrived to question witnesses. The detective discovered three clues, one sneaker, one glove, and one slipper. Then he asked the witnesses to describe what they were doing while Tina was preparing the dinner. Soon, the detective found out who poisoned Tina. How did he know? Tina left a left shoe, left glove, and left slipper. She was trying to show that the poisoner was left-handed. What's wrong with this picture? If you saw a raccoon walking on two legs first, you're probably a very intelligent and strong-willed person. Friends can always count on your loyalty. If you promise something, you'll never break your word. If you spotted two sons first, you're a very calm and open-minded person. You prefer to avoid drama and unnecessary attention. But people come to you for advice and support because you view this world as a whole, and your opinions are sage and impartial. If you noticed a tree blooming in the middle of winter, it means that you're a very romantic and sentimental person. You feel the beauty of this world very intensely, and you need an environment that will nourish your soul and appreciate your uniqueness. With this kind of support, you can easily make this world a better place. There are three students, Peter, Everett, and Leah. One of them isn't a real person. Can you tell who? It's Everett. He doesn't cast a shadow. <laughs> Look at three friends. Ariel Vandenberg, Danica Hall, and Simone. The first girl has a long one, the second girl has a short one, and the third girl doesn't use hers. What is it? It's their last names. Juniper loves sleeping. She sleeps 10 hours every day. Still, there's one month when she sleeps in total a bit less than during the other months. What is this month and why does this girl sleep less? It's February. There are just 28 or 29 days in this month, which means fewer nights. Andy and Carter went camping in the woods on the weekend. One week later, Andy came to the police. He said Carter had led him deep into the forest, and while Andy was sleeping, his friend left him there. Then Andy had to wander alone for a week until he found some road leading to civilization. He came to the police to report the accident immediately. Carter denied doing that, claiming that they had come back home together. Who's lying? Andy is too clean-shaven for a person who has just got out of the woods. I'll bet he made up his story. Esme was walking in the forest. Once it got dark, she headed home but got lost. She was wandering around the forest until she found the witch's house. She came in, said hi to the witch and her grandson, who was still staying with his granny, and petted the cat. The witch had another riddle for Esme to solve if she wanted to get out. She wrote down a number. There were two special things about it. What were they? First, this number contains all existing digits. Second, they're put in alphabetical order. Mrs. Cooper was going to the bank when she passed out. Cece was passing by when she noticed the woman on the ground. She called the ambulance and the police. Soon, the woman came to her senses. But she found out that someone had stolen all her money. There were three suspects, Cece and two other pedestrians, Teo and Mason. Who is the thief? Look, there are two types of footsteps leading to the place where Mrs. Cooper is lying. One of them belongs to her, and the other was left by Cece. There are also two parallel straight lines, which must be the prints left by a wheelchair. So, the thief must be the man in the wheelchair, Mason.
Mrs. Ford reported to the police that her neighbor, Anthony, had stolen her golden figurine. She said, I was upstairs vacuum cleaning when I heard someone enter the house. I walked up to the window and saw my neighbor leaving the house a half minute later. When I went downstairs, I saw that my golden figurine had been stolen. Anthony denied passing by Mrs. Ford's house that day. Who should the detective believe? He should believe Anthony. Vacuum cleaners are noisy, so Mrs. Ford couldn't possibly hear anyone enter her house. Cheryl was having a birthday party. She noticed that her brother was staying in his room with some girl, but she didn't know who it was. Cheryl got curious, so after they left, she sneaked into his room to look for some hints. There were three girls at the party, Jasmine, Willow, and Sylvia. Cheryl immediately guessed who her brother was dating. Can you figure it out? It's Sylvia. Look, there's a jacket in the room. Sylvia was wearing it at the party. Now I'll show you some pictures, and you'll need to understand what's wrong with them. Let's go! Here's the first one. The door hinges and the handle are on the same side of the door. Doors don't work this way. Here's another one. What's wrong here? The woman isn't wearing a necklace, but it's reflected in the mirror. And what about this one? Nine and eleven are messed up. It should be the other way around. Ah, this one should be easy, but keep your eyes wide open. Right, there's no red traffic light. Paris went on an expedition to a desert for a month. She didn't have a strong internet connection, so she couldn't talk to her boyfriend often. Still, one day, she managed to video call him. But that call didn't end well. The girl broke up with a guy. Why? Look at the background. It's nighttime for Paris's boyfriend, but he is obviously having dinner with some girl. There's a second plate and a glass with a lipstick print on it. Storm was walking with his friend in the park. Suddenly, it started raining, and they had to go home. Storm ran back as fast as he could because he didn't have a raincoat, an umbrella, or even a hood. Still, when he finally got home after running in the rain for 10 minutes, not a single hair on his head was wet. How is it possible? Storm was bald. Man. In an alternate reality, Mrs. Savad was trying to persuade her daughter, Amy, to go to a party. Amy wanted to do her homework instead. Weird, huh? Mrs. Savad bought Amy an amazing dress, but the girl still refused. It continued until her mom promised that if Amy went to that party, she'd let her do her homework 16 hours a day every day for another month. Later, Mrs. Savad left for her own party. When she returned, she realized that Amy hadn't left the house. How did she know? There's still a price tag on the dress, which means that Amy didn't wear it. Violet had a genius but crazy sister who was always making traps in the basement. One day, Violet went downstairs to get her laundry. As soon as she walked in, the door got locked and wouldn't open. There were three buttons. Violet knew that one of them would open the door, but the other two would electrocute her. Luckily, her sister had mercy. There was a hint. Which of the buttons will let Violet get out of the basement? If you put the letters in the right order, you'll see purple button written there. That's the one. Mrs. West came to the police station asking to check on her husband. She said that he was in his office when she called him. Suddenly, she heard her husband fall to the floor. And about 10 seconds later, he hung up without saying anything. She called him again, then she came to his office, but he didn't open the door. The detective arrived at the office and found Mr. West unconscious. The detective was sure that the man wasn't alone in the room when it all happened. Why? Why? 
someone had to hang up the phone. If the man had suddenly fainted, the phone would have fallen on the floor. You work in a baggage storage room at the airport. Three people come and give you their bags at the same time. Now, you don't remember who each bag belongs to. Take a look inside and try to figure it out. There's just one girl, so the bag with a dress inside probably belongs to her. The blind man doesn't need this mirror, which means that this bag must belong to the bald man. And the bald man doesn't need a hairbrush, so the third bag must belong to the blind man. Lilibet always wanted to have a cat, but her mom never allowed her to get one. Once, the girl found a kitten in the street and brought it home. She knew her mom would make her take it to the shelter, so she decided to hide the animal. Once Lilibet's mom walked into the girl's room and realized there was a cat living there. How did she know that? Look, the walls and the sofa are scratched at the bottom. Mrs. Jones was working a night shift. Her daughter, Emmeline, wanted a friend to stay with her. But Mrs. Jones didn't allow it because it was a school night. When the woman returned, she realized that Emmeline had still invited her friend over. How did the woman understand it? There's a pair of earrings in the bathroom. Mrs. Jones and Emmeline don't have their ears pierced, so these must belong to someone else. Daphne suspected that her boyfriend, Dashiell, had hacked her phone and was now reading all her messages. One day, Daphne and her friend Sophie decided to go to the park. Daphne invited her boyfriend, too, so he could get to know her friend. When Dashiell arrived, Daphne broke up with him. Why? <laughs> She didn't tell when they were going to meet, but Dashiell still arrived at the correct time. That's how she made sure he had indeed been checking her messages. Tony and Scarlett are best friends. They wanted to spend the summer together. Unfortunately, Scarlett's grandmother fell sick, and the girl had to go to another city for the whole summer to be with her. Tony missed her friend. That's why, from time to time, she walked past her house. In a couple of weeks, Tony realized that Scarlett had lied to her about staying with her grandma. She had been home all that time. How did Tony understand it? Look at the house. One day, the window is open, and the next day, it's already closed. Someone's definitely living there. Mr. York was a rich gentleman living in a mansion. Once, his brother came to visit him. The next day, Mr. York called the police and said that a very expensive golden cup had been stolen from his collection. The only other person in the house was his brother, so he must be the thief. The police didn't believe Mr. York. Why? The spot where the cup was supposed to stand was just as dusty as the rest of the shelf. It means that nothing had been standing there for a long time. And, like always, crime doesn't pay. Space-time collapse has occurred recently in one of the most remote galaxies in the universe, the Rhino's Eye. A group of space scientists accidentally integrated an ultra-deferential evaluator into a quasi-spatial thermostat. How could you? Well, in simple words, somebody put a time machine, which looked like a TV remote control, inside a teleport that looked like a washing machine. So now, dozens of time and space anomalies are popping up all over the galaxy. You're the leader of the universe security. This highly developed group of humanoid creatures with dog heads monitors the order in the universe and eliminates all kinds of stellar problems in space-time anomalies. With your squad, you now have to deal with the consequences of today, tomorrow, and yesterday's incidents and turn off the teleporting time machine. You get into your star poodle ship and set off on a dangerous journey. The first stop is the planet Up. There, all intelligent and unintelligent life forms move vertically. All people, animals, and other amazing creatures move only up, climbing endless stairs. That's where an alien object from another galaxy and another time has appeared. Find something or someone that's not from this world.
Look! There's a snail crawling along that rope ladder. It's moving horizontally. You put the snail in a jar. You're going to send it home, to the planet Slime. Surprisingly, the snail can speak. It asks you for help. An unknown monster has appeared on its world, and now it terrifies all the inhabitants of the slime world. You decide to help and fly to the snail's planet. Just snails and caterpillars live here. The whole world is covered in a thick layer of slime. You can see huge snails, little ones, and even several snails the size of a skyscraper. But there is also an outsider among them. Take a good look around and find the imposter. Among snail shells, you notice the shell of a big hermit crab. It looks like any other snail shell, but a pair of claws peek out of it. You set up a force field around the crab and transport it to your ship. Your mission here is over. The snails are grateful to you. Your next task is saving the planet Sterilium. This is the most sterile planet in the entire universe. There's no dirt, no microbes, and no bacteria there. One-eyed flying crystals inhabit this pure, sterile world. They can't talk since they don't have mouths, but they communicate telepathically. Your brain receives a signal from them. The crystals are asking for help. A huge meteorite is approaching the planet Sterilium, and you need to destroy it. You can't land on the planet because you might bring microbes here. Instead, you approach the asteroid and scan its composition. You find out the asteroid has come here from a parallel universe. It consists of sugar. Well. You tell the crystals they don't need to worry and fly away from the asteroid without doing anything. Why are you sure nothing bad will happen to Sterilium? The sugar asteroid will melt and burn up in the planet's atmosphere in a matter of seconds. You find out that a guest from the future has turned up on Earth-9. Technologies on this planet are not developed. Even the steam engine hasn't been invented yet. So you decide to perform your mission secretly. You arrive at the field and see three farmers. They walk on the plowed land and carry vegetables. One of them is a farmer from the future. But who? Look, that guy is using a plastic bag. You send him to his time and are about to fly away. But then you notice something strange. 3 billion people live on Earth-9, and all of them are supposed to look different. But for some reason, they're identical in appearance. You see 3 billion farmers working in one huge field. You have a powerful sense of smell, and you feel that the inhabitants of this planet aren't human. They smell like nothing. Take a look at this army of farmers and find out who they are. They are all holograms. One of the farmers is flickering, see? But why would someone create such a huge optical illusion? At this moment, all the farmers, the land, trees, and grass begin to blink. The whole world around you disappears. You are inside a small white room now. Your face turns into a human one. Your mouth is covered with a bandage so you can't speak. Your spacesuit turns into a gray shirt. The door opens and a big guy in a white coat enters. He gives you a mop and a bucket of water. Wash the room, he says, and leaves. You don't remember who you are or how you got here. You need to find out what's going on. But first, you need to know what you look like. How can you figure it out in a white room without any glass surfaces, mirrors, and windows? Take a look at the water in the bucket. It'll show you your reflection. You look at the water surface. Hmm, everything is clear now. The door opens. You leave the room and walk along a long corridor together with the orderly from before. You pass by a room where other people in gray shirts are sitting. You enter the dining hall. The cook pours you some water and gives you a pink donut. Lunch, he says. The orderly removes the bandage from your mouth. You bite into a donut. It has no taste at all. At this point, you realize that everything around you is a hallucination. 
you're on the planet Sterilium under the telepathic influence of its inhabitants. But how did you understand this? When you looked at your reflection in the bucket, you saw your real face, the dog's one. Everything is too clean and sterile around, and the donut has no taste. Crystals don't know what taste is, so they can't create it. They want to study your body to build an immune system for themselves and destroy the galaxy. Well, you figured out their secret plan, but how will you get out of here? The only way is to use some bacteria. But where can you get microbes on an absolutely sterile planet? At the moment, you look at the orderly and spit at him. Chaos erupts all over the place. The cook screams and runs away. Your shirt disappears, you become the leader of the universe security again, and your head turns into that of a dog. Your saliva contains microbes. When you spat at the crystal, you infected the entire planet. You leave sterilium during the microbial apocalypse. You meet with your team and are now flying through outer space. Suddenly, you catch a signal from a huge planet called Gectum. It seems the time machine is there. At the moment, the planet is falling into a black hole. You land on Gectum. The sky is slowly becoming black. You notice the shimmering washing machine. This is it! You attach several cables to the machine and lift it onto your ship. The gravitational force of the black hole is growing. Your ship doesn't have enough power to leave this place. What should you do? Use the washing machine. This is also a teleport that can transport you to any point in the universe. You quickly read the attached instructions and open the settings. It worked! Your ship gets teleported to… You land on Gectum. The sky is slowly becoming black. You notice the shimmering washing machine. This is it! You attach several cables to the machine and lift it onto your ship. The gravitational force of the black hole is growing. Your ship doesn't have enough power to leave this place. What should you do? Use the washing machine. This is also a teleport that can transport you to any point in the universe. You quickly read the attached instructions and open the settings. It worked! Your ship gets teleported to… Wait, what's going on? You experience the same episode again and again. Apparently, you've activated not the teleport, but the time machine. Now you're stuck in a time loop and endlessly experience the fall into the black hole that devours time and space. How are you going to escape from the loop? You throw the machine into the black hole. The time teleport is destroyed. You've saved the universe. But you're still falling into the black hole together with the planet. To leave it, you need a tug. At this moment, three spaceships enter Gectum's orbit. Each of them releases a gravitational beam that can drag you off the planet. Among the three ships, only one is friendly and really wants to help you. Which one will you choose? Think fast, the black hole is about to gobble you up. The ship that looks like a snail will help you. After all, you've saved the snail's planet from the giant crab. The big spaceship pulls your star poodle away from the incredible force of gravity. You find yourself in open space and fly away from the black hole as fast as you can. The universe is saved! Now it's time to see your score. Zero to two points. Maybe you can save a planet or two, but rescuing a galaxy or the entire universe is still too much for you. Three to six points. Hmm, not bad. You can protect the universe, but only from small threats. Sometimes you still feel existential horror because of the impending space problems. 7 to 9 points. You deserve your place on the team of the universe security. But you need to remember that you can't save worlds without your colleagues' help. 10 to 11 points. The universe always needs you. Only you can control time and space and crack the trickiest space mysteries. Jessica, Pam, and Serge have just met in the hall of a business conference. Take a closer look at their hands. Can you guess which one of them is a millionaire?
Serge is wearing a Versace watch, but it's probably a fake because the word Versace is written with an extra letter. Pam is wearing plenty of jewelry, but if you take a closer look, you'll see scratches. It's gilded jewelry. And Jessica is wearing only one silver Tiffany bracelet, and she's the most suitable candidate to be the millionaire. Rick found a huge yellow diamond on the floor of a fancy boutique. Three women came over to claim it. Daisy showed her earrings with yellow diamonds and said the ring was a part of her jewelry set. Glenda said it was her engagement ring. Jill said the ring belonged to her grandmother. Help Rick to find out who's lying. Daisy's earrings are framed in rose gold, while the ring in white gold. It's not a jewelry set. Glenda is already wearing an engagement ring on her finger. So, Rick should give the ring back to its true owner, Jill. Kim is a manager in a luxury restaurant. She came back from a break and saw a quarrel between the waiter whose name was Tom and a customer, Nancy. Nancy had claimed that she had ordered a combo lunch meal, but Tom said that she didn't order any food but a croissant. Kim knew exactly who was lying. How did she guess? Take a look at the announcement. Combo meals are served between 1 and 4 p.m., and the clock shows 6 p.m. Nancy just couldn't have ordered the lunch because it was too late. Look at the picture. Find the missing piece. This cube on the right fits perfectly, but you gotta rotate it first. Bus station guard Steven received an anonymous call. One eccentric rich guy decided to prank his friends heading to a mountain resort. He hired a criminal to hijack the bus along with all the passengers and go on a beach party instead. Once Stephen heard this message, he ran into the parking lot and saw five people near the bus heading to the mountains. Help Stephen to determine which of the passengers is the possible criminal. Look at the guy on the right. He's not dressed for skiing. He's wearing beach clothes. Freddy was hired to decorate a fancy boutique. He was taking pictures when he heard screams. Freddy saw two women fighting and pulling an expensive handbag. Both women, Rose and Lily, said they've put the bag on the register stand to buy it later. But Freddy knew who was lying. How? Take a look at the picture. Lily's right arm is in a cast, and the bag is standing right behind her broken arm. If it was Lily's bag, she would probably put it on the left side using her healthy arm. Therefore, the bag belongs to Rose. Look at the picture carefully and choose an image identical to this example. Well done! Image 4 is identical, but it's rotated by 180 degrees. Detective got a call from the villa of a famous billionaire, Mr. Green, who disappeared this morning after he left home to play golf with his coach. Detective questioned all the witnesses. The housemaid said Mr. Green had breakfast and left at 10 a.m. Mr. Green's girlfriend said she left for a photo shoot early in the morning before he woke up. Mr. Green's personal golf coach said he had spent all day at home. The detective realized that one of the witnesses was lying. Who? The coach was lying. He had an appointment with the client. Anna was visiting her granny in the country. Granny decided to cook a special dinner and sent Anna to the forest to collect some mushrooms. Granny gave Anna a picture of specific mushrooms that she had to pick. This was very important because the forest was full of dangerous mushrooms. Help Anna to choose the right mushrooms. Well done! Mushrooms number 3 are perfectly safe. George and Henry met a gorgeous singer. 
Tara. Both men fell in love at first sight and invited her on a yacht. When all three arrived at the pier, each guy began to claim that he was a millionaire and owner of the yacht. Help Tara to find out which one is a liar. Look closely at the yacht. There is a plaid jacket that matches Henry's pants perfectly. At the same time, the watch at George's hand is cracked and shows 8 a.m., although it's evening time. It's unlikely that a millionaire would wear a broken watch. Mike and Wendy expected the newborn to arrive next week. Mike was painting walls but accidentally pulled his back, fell, and passed out. He woke up in the hospital. Three women were standing in front of his bed. Each claimed that she had been Mike's wife. Help Mike to remember his real wife. The belly of the first woman is too small for a woman who is giving birth next week. The second woman is wearing high heels and her shoes are buttoned. The third woman's sandals are unbuttoned. She couldn't button her shoes on her own because of her belly. Look at the picture attentively. Find the odd kitten. That's right, the second kitten's paw is different from all the others. Tina had five sisters. One night, she woke up in the middle of the night because she heard a loud noise from her sister's bedroom, as if someone had slammed the window. Tina suspected that one of her sisters left a bed after lights out and hurried to check them. Tina inspected all five beds. Each sister seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Help Tina to determine which sister went for a walk after lights out and made so much noise. It was this sister in the third bed. Take a closer look. She crawled under the blanket wearing her dirty sneakers. Diana, her fiancé Tim, sister Sarah, and their puppy came to visit the groom's mother, Miss Wilson, at her house. Next morning, Diana found out that her puppy was gone. Diana questioned oh no. all three family members. Tim was hanging out with his ex-classmates. Sarah demonstrated a small kitty. She spent her time purchasing a new pet. And Miss Wilson tried to stay away from the puppy because of her severe allergy. Who is a liar? Miss Wilson lied about her allergy. She wouldn't have been able to stand next to the kitten. Betty had three daughters. One morning, her neighbor Lauren said she had seen one of Betty's daughters at a nightclub last night, but she wasn't sure which one exactly. Betty didn't allow her daughters to visit nightclubs, so she questioned all of them. Sam spent all night in a library. Gemma on a date with her boyfriend, Alex, but she returned home before midnight. Kelly said she was watching a series all night and didn't leave the house. Who is lying? Sam is lying. Look at her face and clothes. She's covered with glitter. Who needs glitter in a library? An elephant was sleeping and having a very weird dream. When he woke up the next morning, he found out that his shadow was gone. He was looking for his shadow all day and finally met a wizard. The wizard confessed that he had stolen the elephant's shadow, but the wizard was ready to give it back if the elephant managed to recognize it. Help the elephant to make the right choice. Yep, the second shadow fits perfectly. Kelly received an anonymous message that one of her teachers is a vampire. Look at the picture. Can you help Kelly to identify the real vampire? It's over here. She has an eye in her meal. Jane called the police to report that someone had broken into her house and taken her precious jewelry collection. She was washing her hair in the shower when she heard footsteps downstairs. She went down and found out that the safe was opened and all the jewelry oh no. was gone. 
When the detective heard this story, he arrested Jane immediately. Why? Jane couldn't hear footsteps while washing her hair in the shower. Look at the picture attentively. Find an odd bee. That's right, this bee has fewer stripes than the others. Jack and Sarah went to the countryside to celebrate their anniversary. At the local market, they bought a sweet watermelon. They sat on a beach, cut it up, and enjoyed it. The watermelon tasted sweet and delicious. Each of them ate three wedges, but in 20 minutes, Sarah got sick. Jack took her to the hospital. The doctor said the watermelon was poisoned. Sarah and Jack ate the same food and drank the same drinks. How is this possible that Jack feels well? The poison was in the seeds. Sarah ate them and Jack threw them away. Look at the picture attentively. Can you identify a dog among all these pandas? This little body is definitely not a panda. 